Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Coast KRC. So today I want to have a look at a couple of frames. Uh, these, are the DJ, these are for the DJI FPB system. So first off, I want to have a look at this. This is the Flywoo Mr. Croc. And it's a H this is the HD version. You can buy a standard version, which I'll also have on my channel very shortly. But this is about a five inch one that I'm doing a build on. This is a six inch version. And as you can see, I've already got the camera and DJI unit installed. It comes with these TPU mounts here that you just fit onto the side and you put the wire through the actually very tight to get in to the air unit there's not that much room in there the air unit just sticks down you don't get anything to stick it down with it comes in the kit and on the back you get a place for a various antennas you can bring holes there there and there and also on the top of here you've got a place for a satellite uh, sorry a gps unit to go in here so your GPS unit would fit in there, you bring the wires through the bottom. I'm not having the GPS unit, I just fitted this on because it's stock, I'll probably take the bit off the top when I finish the build. So as I say, it's 6 inch. The other frame I want to look at today is this. This is the Coppies 2 frame. So it's probably a Coppies 2 frame, very, very popular 5 inch quad. Fantastic, it's an absolutely fantastic quad. And this is the HD version, so as you can see, your stack goes here and up here goes your air unit. Again, it just sticks in place and you've got two little holes in the side to bring you, your antennas out. So what I'm going to do is build both of these. I'm going to build the, this one first uh, on the channel. You'll see this video in a week or so. And let me show you what we're going to build them with. So we're going to put, so they're both going to have exactly the same gear in them. I'm just going to do build one then swap it over. Let's look at one of these that's open. So we're going to use the Flywoo NIN motors. These are, I can't remember, these are 2306 and these are 2450 kV motors. So let's see if we can get that to zoom. And these are the titanium version. Very, very nicely finished off motors. So we're using these on both builds. And we're going to use... The Kakute Teco ESC combo. So this is the one that just goes straight in to the DJI Air unit. So as you can see, it's got the ESC down below, and then on the top you've got an F7 flight controller. The F7 flight controller comes with this cable. So this cable plugs into your flight controller and plugs straight into the DJI unit. Now if you're flying this with the DJI uh, transmitter this is all you need to do you just need to put your ESCs on here wire it in to your ESCs to your motors and do nothing else you won't have to do anything on the top here at all because I'm not doing that and I've got my own transmitter I just have to use three connectors there I just need to connect it to your UART for my XM Plus which is what I'll be using on this build so both of these are going to be quite an easy build. And the idea is I'll build these so I can just take the stacks apart. On this one, I'm going to fly it on the 6042 props from Gemfan. I've got some of these on another build you're going to see coming. I think it's that one there. You're going to see this build, or you might have already seen it. This is a six-inch build I've done. These props are stunning. They're very, very nice, smooth, and quiet. They're very quiet props. So i am put these on. And then on the coppice, we're going to do exactly the same thing. This is going to fit straight into here. Straight onto there. Air unit's going to go up ahead there, connect it straight in. So I can just do a straight swap. So when I do the builds on these, I'm probably just going to put a bit of tape around here on the wires. Just a bit of insulation tape because I'll be taking them off again. So the idea is I'll build this one first. You'll see the video. I'll do the build video, then I'll have a flight video. Then I'll do a build video on this and a flight video on this. Both of these come with, uh, sorry, Kakute comes with a capacitor with it, and that's all you get in the box on this. It's quite expensive, this is coming in around 80 quid, um, and you can do it cheap. I just wanted to test out this because it's supposed to be a fantastic flight controller, so the idea was we'll test this out on a couple of frames. 
ideally I'll probably leave, I'll probably build up this one first, stick it in the coppice and then I'm depending on what because the coppice obviously isn't going to be for cinematic because you're going to have top tune shot obviously on the flywheel because it's a dead cat you're not going to have the top tune view so whether I decide to leave it cinematic or not is a different matter so I'll decide that later on when I've done the build but I just wanted to show you that and like I say I'll have these coming up but both of these frames this one comes in at about 36 I think it's 36 quid or 37 pounds and the copy is around 28 29 what I would say is when I bought this frame these were all missing out of the box so you had none of them in there so the frame was completely useless uh, I did buy it from Banggood the usual Banggood response take a video or something you don't have how that's possible I don't know so I just give up with that I went to Flywoo and to be fair to them they shipped it out and I got them in four days from China four days these arrived so can't really fault that so it's just a word of warning they're telling me at Flywoo that they've been boxed wrong so if you buy one and these are missing contact Flywoo these might not be in your box the box was sealed and everything they've just been packaged wrong and they think that they could all be packaged wrong so and as I said the copy frame I bought from Unman Tech which is fantastic UK supplier I get it fast delivery and they're just they're outstanding I think in my opinion the prices are good they're not that that price that was exactly the same price as it would have been if I'd have bought it from Banggood the only reason I bought this from Banggood is I couldn't get this frame anywhere else so I'll leave it at that it'll have the video probably coming up in a few days of the build video for this and I'll put the flight video up and then I'll strip it and then we'll build the copies and I'll let you know what the boat's like thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up